Hey guys, you got a lot going on today. Um, you can see over there. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance and repair work. Uh, starting with Hot Balls Johnson here. This go kart needs uh, this back brake figured out. Um, I got to looking at a manual, and there's sort of like a, a C bracket that's supposed to be on this that holds the brake band centered over the the uh, drum and then this rod here is supposed to actually be pulling from the bottom of the band and the top where I have it pulling from now is supposed to be hanging from the other side uh, I think I ran into an issue with uh, this maybe has the wrong rod on it I think I tried to tighten this and I ran out of thread uh, hmm. well we can always put some more threads on it if we have to but Let's see what happens first. Uh, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to pull the jack out, get it up under the rear end of this, get it off the ground, and we'll start from there. All right. Let's do it, guys. Work in progress. All right, guys. So we're going to start by getting this wheel off. When I first got this cart, that was the absolute pits. Uh, everything was rough welded on. Yeah, this is brand new. Basically. If you're ever thinking about buying one of these, that's definitely the first thing I'd look at. Keyways all greased up. All right. All right, guys, here's what we're dealing with. Uh, this is how I had it set up, kind of temporary. Um, this was my attempt at getting the rod to stay somewhat straight, and that was guiding this straight onto the drum, and it sort of stopped, and it worked for a little bit. Uh, the fact, <clears throat> sorry guys, from the factory. This drum only has a, you know, it has a keyway, and it has a key that I cut that went, that goes through it. Um, but it has a, it's on the other side, one of these little Allen's heads down on this side, and that's it. Uh, it won't hold itself in place at all. So I added a split retainer on this side, and a split retainer up on this side. Um, so, you know, it kind of holds everything where it needs to be. So we know that's not moving. So what's happening is this is coming across and pulling the band across the, the drum diagonal. So it's not getting a whole lot of face, you know, so it's not, there's no friction there really. Uh, so... What they do is there's supposed to be a piece that goes over this and bolts onto here. And that holds the band straight so that it's you know in line with the drum. And then this rod is supposed to be down here 
and this is upside down. So there'll be a pivot point up here, but it'll be on the other side and the rod will be pulling this way. So we're going to look through the uh, nuts and bolts and miscellaneous pieces of metal. Uh, see what we can't find. This this carriage bolt that's you know precariously hanging off at a really bad angle there. Uh, that's just something that this came with on here. And then I just tried to add some bolts and again I was trying to center it. So I figured if the rod was centered and if I could center that band that it would be okay. It wasn't. So, uh, I'm going to see what I can find, guys. And, uh, I'll get this taken apart. Alright, I'm going to grab some tools. Alright, guys, I just went ahead and took off, uh, the clips that I had up here holding this together. Um, two nuts that were on this carriage bolt here. And this piece of wire that was holding the rod in here. So, I look back at the diagram and it's pretty rough and they don't show, it's not an installed picture, it's a, it's a blow apart, so you kinda gotta really look at it. Um, so, this will work right where it's at. However, we have two things we can do. I could loosen this retainer. Uh, I know, I think I have to take this one off, loosen this, slide this over, then loosen the other retainer, bump that one over, push this back against that retainer, lock this down, and then push this retainer against that, and that'll give us our distance. Um, or, you see what's happening is we're maxing out right there. Uh, you know, it's only got a pivot, but we can get it so much closer. You see what I'm saying, guys? It's just barely. No, that's actually. Well, once this is in place. Yeah, we're, we can do better. I mean, that's not bad. Alright, anyway, so... The piece has to go like this. And... It doesn't have to go on both sides of the band like I thought. It's just one big C like this. That bolts on. See where that hole is? Uh, not this big round one right here, but this square one and there's just a piece of metal there on the other side and they're calling for a one inch carriage bolt uh, from the manufacturer that would hold this thing on and then a nut on the back that that you're seeing is just the way I set up the bearing um, I ran that extra piece of steel didn't have to necessarily but where this already has a little bend you know it's or a little character i should say up in here i figured it was better to leave that piece of steel when installing the bearing so we'll just use the uh, step bit on the drill i'll drill that out from the back so that the carriage bolt can uh go through there um I guess it doesn't even really have to be a carriage bolt. We can just put something there with nylock wall, nylock nut and uh, that'll hold. But I got to figure out, it, I guess, I mean, it can't be touching the drum, but it has to hold the band straight. So I'm almost inclined to say we should set this thing and then you know like I said we'll just go through the process of 
taking all of these off one by one and pulling it back. Um, these two we don't have to touch. That's just the retainer for the wheel. Um, the wheel's just on a keyway. Uh, if you have one of these carts, keep these things greased, maintain them. Once they rust, and you can still get the wheel off, address it immediately. Sorry guys, an egg roll for lunch. And some coffee, probably not the best mix. So, uh, anyways, that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to go grab the uh, some metal, uh, see what we have. Maybe there's something that already exists, and we just got to bolt it on. I mean, it literally just has to have, yeah, I mean, we just have to have that one hole. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, here's what I'm working with. Let me get a glove on. This is some, this iron might still be hot. All right, I got a uh, piece of mild steel here. Um, the stuff, it'll bend, but it's not easy to get a nice, clean bend out of it. Uh, Let's heat it up. So I'm using a map gas torch and a vise. Uh, the way I did that is I took the piece of steel and I centered that hole because that's where our bolt's going to go, right in there. Centered that on the piece of metal. Just kind of let it hang out. And then I scored a straight line up and down parallel to the the actual dropout the hanger you know so then that gave us this angle here okay so like okay so that's gonna hang out and come past the band okay so I'm gonna mark it out and I'm gonna make a mark for how wide we want this to be and that's where the band is going to stop up against and we're just going to bend it back down to come down next to it and that should retain it onto the drum now I'm going to set it wherever I want here and then we're going to move the drum so that the band goes up against it all right and I also found another I believe it's a 3 8 carriage bolt but it's a big dog so we'll get all that out of there we'll get all fresh nice and straight stuff in there we might take off one of the nuts and replace it with some washers uh, just to move this thing over so it's centered but then again we're gonna move the drum so let me get this piece bent up and uh, we'll take it from there okay guys So we gotta bend it this way.
heat that up again. Do this. I'm going to check the bend first. guys I just went back and checked that angle and uh, it looks good I think you guys are gonna really like the design that I'm working with it's a little bit different uh, all right so we got this bend pretty close here um, now we just want to get it so it looks nice like this one so we're gonna try to switch over to our anvil we can. This might be hard to get. There we go. Something like that. All right, we're going to heat this up again. might actually have to use the vise to do this one. I don't like doing this in my vise, but we will. I'm doing is I'm pulling back against what I'm hitting. We're gonna get a nice angle that way. All right, and then we're just gonna bring it down. We don't care about the length yet. That's adjustable. All right. Uh, this is really, really hot. Be careful when you don't get your wrist or anything. And then right outside in the snow. And we'll let that cool off for a minute and uh, get you back inside. All right, guys, back inside. Here's our piece. Uh, it's starting to look like something. My plan is that we're going to back it up right up against this here, the bearing retainer. And this is going to sit up flush to that. Um, we'll cut, we'll drill this out and put a bolt through. We'll drill this out as well, you know. When I mean drill this out, I'm referring to that plate that's on the back side. So we'll feed a bolt through there. And then this piece is going to continue past. Okay. 
and we'll replace this stud with that 3 8 carriage bolt and we're gonna lock this thing off you know somewhere over here and then I'll end up making a hole for this stud and then we'll put a bolt on the end of that and that should kind of cage everything in and hold it that way against the drum so that's the plan guys uh, I'm gonna mark this out and cut it the way I've lessened my hands all right guys we're getting close uh, I cut the end off I ended up bringing the stud down from this top hole here down here uh, the reason being is the old brake band wasn't lining up uh, it's about three quarters of an inch longer I'd say than the one I have on here now um, so when I did that I had to change from up here to down here so our radius changed so our whole location changed here uh, I drilled out back here this hole and we drilled a hole in that which lines up there um, so you know we're gonna bolt it on and I have to make a little where is it down there see that where it's hitting I'm just gonna make a little notch just so it sits flush with the hole see how I'm a little bit off there all right so we'll take like a you know a quarter inch or something right off of that it's not it doesn't matter if it sits against the bearing anymore um, this is going to brace against each other and in and hopefully what's going to happen is we'll be able to adjust it with this side by pushing tension in this way um you know, and you know, we'll see what happens. I think this is really going to work. Uh, we didn't have to move the drum. I think we have, you know, just enough play on this end. Uh, this end's going to get the wire through that hole. So I'm going to go ahead outside and grind that off real quick. Um, mm. We'll find something to do with that hole later to make it look like it was on purpose, I guess. <laughs> I cut it off, right? But look, eh, if I cut it off that close, eh, it just, I guess I could round it out a little bit or something, maybe. Kind of manipulate the edge of it. Eh. We'll see you guys. I might leave it like that. I might grind it off while I'm there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, here we are, guys. Went ahead and rounded out those edges over there. Got rid of that extra hole so it looked nice and clean. Uh, on this side, just took about a quarter inch off down here. Then just ground it so that there's no sharp edges. I put a grade 8 bolt through it. Some big washers, big old nylock nut. I ain't going nowhere. Alright. Um, the carriage bolt, aka the stud, is held on there with a, you see a lock washer, then a, a nut, then a lock nut. And then. You know, we have plenty of room for our pivot. And then this nut out here is going to be for our adjustability on the band in order to bring the band closer to the drum, since that's what our intent was in the first place. So what we do is, as we tighten this nut, You see that pushes the band here closer to the drum. All right, guys. So once I get the band to where I want it to be, 
we're going to take another nut and we're going to put that on here. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and lock those two nuts up against one another. That way it can't move. It sets our band. You know, this can't move. The band can't move. Um, we have double split retainers holding our drum in place. Um, this doesn't interfere with anything. It actually helps to hold the rod in place up here so that that can no longer travel outside of the uh, the brake drum. Uh, so I mean guys I really really think this is going to work great. Uh, if it does we're going to go ahead and take this bracket off and paint it just so that it doesn't rust on us. But uh, it's getting late, you know, this, this is the first time I've done this, so you know, I apologize for any discrepancies. Um, you know, I'm right here with you guys on stuff like this. So, you know, work in progress. Alright, thanks for watching guys. We'll get it out tomorrow morning and we'll, uh, we'll run some tests on it. Maybe we'll set some cones up and see if we can't stop without hitting them. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good night. Bye.